Hello and welcome back. We are now going to spend some time looking at the planning plant structure. And at the planning plant, we have the work center and we have the planner group. The work center contains essential information for EM data processing. So we are going to see how we create a work center under the planning plant. We start by going to SAP menu then to logistics then to production master data and then to work centers folder under that folder we have the work center and finally we have the transaction code for creating a new work center which is cr01 so we're going to go ahead and open that and then we need to populate the plant field. In our case, it's, it's going to be BRIQ. And you can select it from a list of other plants within the system. So we can scroll down to BRIQ, which is right here. So go ahead and select it. Then we need to enter our work center, which is going to be mechanic. And one more thing we need to populate here is the work center category. Again, we can select from a list which we created when we customized the work center category. So you're going to be selecting machine, which is 001. So once that is done, we can go ahead and move on to the next screen. So here we need to maintain the basic data for our work center. And one of the most important fields that we need to populate is the usage field. This is a task usage list. We need to select from either 004, which is only maintenance task lists, or 009, which is all task list types. So I'm going to select 009. And then another field we need to populate is the standard value key. We are going to set it to SAP zero. And this will make sure that the standard values are not required later. So it's going to be SAP O right here. So once we are done with that, uh, we can populate the rest of the fields as needed, but we're going to move on to default values. And actually, before we do that, we need to uh, enter a description here. It's going to be mechanic work center. And then we can move on to the default values tab. So here are some of the fields that we need to populate. And what will happen is that they will be copied into the operations default values. They also referenced when creating maintenance task lists and maintenance orders. What that is that data cannot be changed in a maintenance task list once you have made uh, populated them here. So we use these values for costing, uh, we use them for scheduling, order confirmation, processing, among other operations. So examples would be wage group, wage type, suitability of the scale, and you can open some of them and just see what selections you have there. We need to move on now to capacities so capacities happens to be 
one of the most important customizing settings in SAP. And the way we customize the capacities uh, or how we customize capacities is going to be illustrated by another tab that I have here. And you're going to come from display IMG. Then you go to production. Then to master data. Capacity data. And then we can define capacity categories here. So we can go ahead and open that. And as you can see, one of the most important uh, a capacity description or categories would be labor, which would be related to the information that we're entering the tabs that we saw earlier. That is 002. And that allows the person to be entered as individual capacity. So we need to make sure that that checkbox is checked during our customization of the capacity category. So once that is done, we can move back to our capacities tab. So we had labor as 02. We make that selection. So we can go to the capacity header data so we click on this and now here again we can enter some information we can call this test then we need to populate the capacity pl planner group uh, we can select the first one here 001 this is another field that we need to populate the basic uh, the base unit of measure it's going to be hours we need also to enter the capacity utilization and we can enter something like 75 percent then the number of individual capacities are uh, we going to enter eight? So once that is done, we can now move back to scheduling. Actually, we can go back to capacities here. We can uh, enter the setup formula right here. To execute capacity planning for the work center, we need the formula SAP008. So once that is done, we can move on to scheduling. Then we need to enter the capacity category. And that was 002, that was labor. And we can populate some of the other fields here. We can set formulas if we want to, but in this case, we're not going to do that. And other formula for scheduling, again, we need to enter SAP, we need to enter SAP 004. This is used for duration of internal processing. So once we are done with that, we can go back to costing. And here we have the link to cost center activity types. We have controlling area is BRI. Bridges IQ. Uh, we can enter the cost center. Uh, we can enter uh, cost center 1000. Here we have activities overview. Activity type text. We can enter the activity type, the unit, and formula description if needed. And now a work center mechanic in plant BRIQ was created. So that is how we create a work center in our planning plant. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.